I would like to do a, an experiment turning our copy paper into vellum. Welcome, it's Winnie from Bella Sunshine. I have seen so many videos on people turning their vellum, I mean, <laughs> their copy paper into vellum. And I've seen them use beeswax, candle wax, baby oil, but I don't really see an update. Like I wanna know, is, did it work out? Did the oil go through your journals? Did the beeswax or the candle wax, did they melt if it gets too hot? So I wanted to do an experiment and I wanted to try one um, that is going to go from the start to finish. So I can feel comfortable and you guys can feel comfortable on whether you wanna use this method, this technique for your journal. Since I live in Texas, it gets so hot in here, I'm not gonna try to do the beeswax or the candle wax. I have tried the baby oil before a couple months ago and it did not work out. This paper, it's actually the one that I experimented with. I did the baby oil, and when the baby oil was here, it looked wonderful, it was gorgeous. But then you had to let it sit and let it dry, um, the oil, the paper to, I guess, really get the oil inside their little fiber thing. And what I did to air dry it was I put it on top of a newspaper and I would check on it every day and I would take a look to see if the pages had any oil and it, it did. Um, it did not work out at all. I, this I think took me um, 10 to 14 days. I kind of lost count on the days but after you know the 10 or 14 days as you can see the oil is dry and the paper is not really that transparent. It's not as, it's a little bit, but not much to, to go through all that trouble. I mean, you can see it's still white here. So baby oil, I don't wanna do. I did more research and I saw someone use mineral oil, but there was no update. So I'm going to try the mineral oil because it's cheap enough to you know, this was like, what, two to three dollars. And if this works out, oh, this will be great. This is going to be my last option. After that, I think I'm just going to have to buy vellum. I have a couple of paper that I want to use for this experiment. I did some, uh, these are all from copy paper with some images in here. And then I have a couple of photos. Well, I printed out pictures of my kids when they were young. And I left some white border on two of them. And then I also have some book pages um, with some writing on the back. I wanted to see what that would look like. And then I have some of these paper here. Um, it's a very lightweight. There's nothing on the back. And so I want to try these with the experiment. The three things that I'm going to be doing. One is we're going to do one that's going to be um, air dry, nothing that we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep checking on it and see what it looks like, change the paper and stuff. And I'm gonna use, um, you know, like a couple of kind of similar paper that I'm using. And then um, the other one is after the oil is dry, I think it'll only need to be a couple of hours, but I'm gonna wait 24 hours just to make sure. And then I'm going to iron the images to see what would happen with that. And then the third one, I would like to spray alcohol into the paper. I'm not sure if that's gonna do anything, but I wanted to give it a try. And to see, I'm trying to see if it's going to help dry the, the oil faster or maybe keep the oil in the paper better. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. There we go. I have uh, my mineral oil. I have a brush um, and then I have a foam. I'm not sure which one is gonna work better. And then I, I've arranged my digitals that I wanna use in order. And I have my drying mat. Now this is dirty, but that's okay because we're gonna cover it with paper. I have them labeled as normal, iron, and then with the alcohol spray. 
And so you're gonna need, this is just gonna help me carry it and put it in my drying rack. And what I'm gonna do is use this book page to cover it up and just doing one page, just like this. And then we're gonna put the image there to dry and see how that would look. And I'm just using these because um, I got, I have, um, I got this book um, for free from somebody and the book just cannot be salvaged. And the pages are actually pretty brittle. I mean, very simple. Like even if you're folding it, see you can't really use it. So. I'm trying to use the pages as much as I can. So that's what you're gonna need. If you have newspaper, that's even better. Um, then you could just do one sheet. So let me go ahead and let's start doing the oiling. So I'm just gonna put oil. I don't wanna spill. I don't know how much we'll need. And then I have a clean plastic mat. And then I have my little, uh, my paper there to kind of help it if in case it goes through the mat. So let me try the sponge first and we'll do the back. It might be easier. Um, yeah, this way. Hopefully. I guess we just need to do it until you don't see any of the white stuff. So your hands are gonna get oily. Look at that, it's already, and then we'll do some in the front. So as you can see, that is looking wonderful. Okay, and we'll just put that on our paper. And we'll just keep going. I'm not gonna try the brush because the sponge seems to be working. So you just wanna make sure you um, turn over your paper. So like that one, see how it's not covering the whole thing? So you just wanna put oil in until you don't see the white stuff, I guess. Well. <laughs> So that's pretty oiled. I'm curious if this one is gonna be see-through. If it's not see-through, then we won't. Oh, well, you can kind of see the, the green, the color. Um, it changes the look, but I don't think it's see-through. Okay, well, we'll just keep it. I think this paper is thicker than the normal copy paper. Um, it does just, it changes the look of the page. So here's our normal. And I'm probably gonna check this um, in a couple of hours and probably have to change our paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this air dry in my drying rack. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones off camera, but I do wanna point out this book page, it took a while for the oil to really get 
into the pages. So some of them, you just have to maybe let it sit there for a little bit um, to, to make sure that the oil, it's covered with oil. Since I still have some oil left over, I decided to make it more accurate like I did with the baby oil. I'm gonna do a full page. Um, I'm trying to do a lighter digital to see. I think the lighter is gonna be better. It's gonna see through better. So I'm gonna try to do this digital. And then I am also going to do, this was a tea dyed copy paper with a little bit of a design. So I'm going to see how that would turn out. And why not, since I'm still experimenting. Here. It's pretty, you can see through. The paper also feels a little bit different. So we'll go ahead. And these um, pages, this full one, I'm just going to do regular, um, regular air dry. Look at this page, gorgeous. Oh, I hope this will keep. I mean, look at that, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I'm hoping this will really work. So here's what it looks like on the paper. So you can even see the wording on there. So I hope this works. Just a tip, just in case this technique works and i'm crossing my finger and hoping that it does the tip i want to give you guys is that you know how i cut my digitals to size like this instead of doing this you might want to do like a border like for instance if you were going to do this one you want to just cut around it kind of leave a border to it because once it's oiled i did have a hard time picking it up to turn it over so i can oil the other side and that way you have some room to play and it doesn't ruin your image. I have all the digitals being dried right now and I'm going to check on it within an hour and show it to you guys just to kind of keep you guys updated on what how the process is working and we will go from there. Okay guys, it's been an hour and let's look at our papers. You can see it's still not dry. Um, there's a lot of oil, but you see the, the top looks like it's dry. And then we have the exception over here. So we need to go ahead and redo our paper for the backing. I'm trying to think if you guys can see the difference of when it's wet. See here, you can see it's still shiny over here, this corner, but the rest of this looks like it's dry. There's no more oil, but the front, it's still got some oil in there. I'm hoping y'all can see that. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna go ahead and change out the paper, and that way we can keep track of um, how much oil is coming out. So the next one I will do is I will wait 24 hours, uh, actually no, because I wanna see exactly when it's gonna be dry. I'll keep checking on it every it hour. It's been another hour, so a total of two hours uh, since we started our experiment, and this is what it looks like. It looks like this picture is, it looks dry, but as you can see, there's still a couple of oil that's coming out of it. This one, it looks pretty completely dry. 
I don't feel oil, um, but we'll see if oil will continue to release from that page. And look at this big book page. There's still a lot of oil. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the paper again. And I'm going to wipe it off, um, um, all the pictures, just to get some of those oil. Maybe I put too much oil in them. And then I am going to look at it within an hour and see how that's going. And we'll go from there. It has been about 24 hours, well, at least overnight. And here's what the normal um, digitals we have. So you can see, like I said, this was dry. We can still see through, and it looks like we still got some oil. I did check on these three hours from the time that we started and I was still getting these drips. So again, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna change out the paper and then I'll take a look at it uh, tomorrow to see what it looks like. But now with the other one that we were experimenting with, this one over here, we are supposed to iron. So as you can see, it's dry, so I'm gonna attempt to iron it and see what happens. And this one, I just had a, an extra piece of paper. I just wanna see how durable this paper will be. Remember I told you this was pretty um, fragile like this, so I'm wondering if once you put the oil, if it's gonna be stronger or not. So let me go ahead and put this aside, and I have I have our, um, I have a cloth to protect my cutting board. And then I'm gonna use a parchment paper. And then I'm gonna put this here and then I'm gonna put another parchment paper. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my iron, no steam. Um, I don't know exactly where I should put it. So I'm just gonna put it to two and see um, if that's going to be enough. Hopefully it won't. Um, what do you call it? Melt our paper. Okay, I think I have my iron hot enough, so I'm just gonna see how it goes. I've never done this before, so we'll see. You know what? It looks like it's releasing the oil. Um, okay, I'm not sure. You see how you don't see glitter? Or I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not shiny. It looks pretty matte, right? But on this one, look at around her hair. It looks shiny. Um... Okay, let me try this again. But this time I have a book page. Let's see what it does. Oh, 
doesn't do I can't see anything I'm rubbing it on this paper and I don't see anything so I'm just going to go ahead and iron it again and I'm going to iron the back and then we'll leave it at that and see what happens um we'll put the we'll put it back on the book page and see if it's going to release more oil okay so what I'm noticing on this particular one um it was releasing some oil. You can barely see it, but I can see that it's coming out of the paper and it's getting harder. I mean, you can still see the people in there, but the writing, um, I think you, if we were to do this, you need to do a book page that doesn't have any writing in the back. So that way you can see the full picture. This one is kind of hard to see because of the writing on the back. But this feels pretty dry. So here's what we got. I put down day two because today's day two and we ironed it. So now we're just going to place it in here to see if it's going to release some more oil. And the book page will let us know whether if there's any oil coming out out of these paper um, I lost that other one that hmm, I wonder where it went okay so this is what it looked like overnight for this page here as you can see there's a lot of oil so I'm gonna put day one here If I ever want to reference it, then we can kind of go figure out when it stopped doing the, the oil. So this was day one. Uh, this was our third paper because we did, we changed it after the first hour and then the second hour. So this was our third. And then I'll go ahead and just let this sit in my drying rack. Here's our normal day two. And this is what the oil looks like on day one, the third exchange paper. Okay, so now we have the alcohol spray that I was thinking of. And what we're going to do, they feel completely dry, like there's no oil in this. So, and there's what the oil looks like, and I'll go ahead and label that. And I am just using um, regular alcohol. I just put it in the spray bottle. And what we're gonna do is just, I don't know, try to, I don't know if this is gonna do anything, guys. Um, I'm just gonna spray it to see what happens. Just like that to make sure it's kind of covered and you might want to if you can't stand the smell of alcohol maybe you should do this outside so with this alcohol I'm checking to see if it's going to also change you know our image if, it's, if something's gonna happen to it. So I'm putting a, a lot in there. Oof. It's getting strong. Oh, you know what, you see that? Where did that blue come from? Oh, well, maybe it came from the, maybe it came from there. I'm just gonna wipe that off and see if it does it on this.
So the paper is completely dry from the alcohol spray. So now we're just gonna put it on this. Now this one was releasing a uh, blue pigment, which I'm not sure if it's from the writing. So you can still see there's blue in there. Interesting. And also I'm noticing, so this is the, the picture and I noticed, look how it's drying over here. Like it's not quite see-through anymore. It looks like it's all white. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that one. But this one is still pretty see-through. And we'll go ahead and let this dry. So here's our full page of the butterfly one. And it's still see-through and lots of oil. So here's our last one. It's the tea dyed and we got a new paper here. So what I'm gonna do with these now is I'm just gonna check every day um, and then if there's still oil in there, I'm gonna go ahead and change it. I'm not gonna put all the days on the camera. I'm just gonna kind of see it on my own to see how long it's gonna take before these things really dry. So right now we're on day two and I'll check on it um, tomorrow. I believe I started this experiment mid-March. It is now July 8th, so it's been over four months and I think it's time to call it quits. So last night I went ahead and changed the paper again just to make sure I wanted to show you guys what it's doing after four months later. As you can see over here, we are seeing oil still. I believe it's coming from this. There were some still. Um, there is a little bit very faint on this one. And as you can see, the picture is not as translucent as it was in the very beginning. The same thing here. It still gives you a different type of look, but if you are concerned about the oil, here is here's your, I guess, what your result. So I'm not sure if this is something I want to do. Let's take a look at with the one I think we had one, I believe this one is, we ironed this one again. So you can see there are still oil re releasing. You know, maybe not so much on these, but on occasion with the book pages on some of these, even the, um, the picture, some week I won't have any oil at all. I won't have any splatter like this. And then I change the paper and guess what? There's oil. Very little, but there's still oil. The other one we had where we sprayed the alcohol was this one. And there's still a couple of oil here that I'm seeing. And look at this picture is pretty much not transparent anymore. And we also had the big picture and there are still a lot of oil coming out. Again, not as translucent as it was. And here's the other one, the pretty paper. And you can't see it, but there are still oil lingering around. So I think with any type of oil, whether you're using mineral oil, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever oil you think there is, I don't think there's gonna be any type of oil that's not gonna do this. I think eventually our paper will, won't be transparent anymore and our journal would be saturated with oil so do you guys want to take the chance on ruining your your journal that would be entirely up to you whether you want to use a small portion of it in collages i'm not sure if the glue will stop it from 
from seeping in but then you'll still have oil on the top so i just don't think it's worth it unfortunately this experiment was a major fail um it is not gonna work i'm not gonna take the chance so i know i said i'm not gonna do the bees um not the beeswax but the um the candle wax but i will experiment on that and kind of give it a couple of weeks now that it's summer here in texas i want to go ahead and give it a try and see exactly what happened when we do use candle so stay tuned for that experiment i hope this was some information that you guys were wondering about um if you guys have any question of course leave a comment below until next time happy crafting